Hello everyone, um, my name is Joanna Vaulthouse and today I am going to talk to you about front ends for SQL Server um, built in Access and Excel using VBA. Uh, now these are unbound tools, uh, which means they are not constantly connected to the data source, uh, which makes them highly scalable. So we haven't got much time to do much of an about me. Um, so I'll just tell you really, really quickly that I have been working with SQL and BBA for the last 10 years. And whilst this is the 10th conference I've spoken at, this is the first one where I've got to speak about BBA. <laughs> so it's not popular and I, I don't know why. Um, so I'm kind of hoping that this will pique a bit of interest and if there are any conference organisers out there who want me to do a full session on VBA then hit me up because I would absolutely love to. Um, and I'll just tell you really quickly that I do contribute tutorials um, to a YouTube channel called Your Programming Network and I do have a playlist on how to build these tools and um, so if you are interested in learning then maybe do check that out the links just on the screen at the moment. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love building <laughs> these VBA tools and when I was just starting out as a SQL developer, um, I worked on an MI team and we had these like daily packs, um, like, you know, showing the figures and things. Um, and there was a few teams like on the sides who really wanted their figures to be included in our daily MI packs. Um, but because their data wasn't in the data warehouse, we were like, oh, hell like how are we going to do this and we'd come up with all these like mad solutions like the users can type some figures into an excel sheet and save the excel sheet in a folder and then we'll run an SS uh, I can't speak ssis package um to pick up the figures from the excel sheet and we'll put them in the database and then it'll be in the pack um and if only i had known then that i could just create a really quick tool in excel where the users can type the figures in themselves um to be included in the packs that would have been um absolutely brilliant <laughs> So that's why I like these tools. Um, so just to quickly show you exactly what I mean by front ends, um, I am going to show you them properly later. Um, but just to just to give you a, a sight of exactly what I'm talking about when I do the pros and cons next. Um, this is one which is built in Excel and it looks like this. And here is an access one that looks like this. And I'm going to show you them working properly um, later. So like why would we even use one of these because they are incredibly useful for like any reason where you may need to get data in and out of a database pretty much um like personally i can't think of any other solution um where you can build something like as functional and as user friendly using software that pretty much every business on the entire planet uh, has got installed on their computers already um, as this. So, I mean, if anybody can think of anything else that was that ticks as many boxes as this, um, yeah, let me know because I would be really, really interested. Um, and when I do demo the tools next, um, just try and bear in mind how much you think it would cost to get a consultancy firm like KPMG or something, there's nothing personal there, it's just the first big name I could think of, um, to come in and build something like this for a company because I would bet it would cost many, many, many thousands, whereas building one of these dependent on the ask can be like days or a week, two weeks, depends how complicated it is, um, obviously. Um, and obviously, aside from all of the incredibly useful use cases, it's very shiny. And when you've been spending a long time typing code into a white screen, like we do with SQL developers, it's so cool just to click a button <laughs> and it puts data in your database and it does stuff. And it's like, oh, I'm still amazed by that. Um, so about the cons, um, the only things I will really say here is that they're not bulletproof. The users could get into the code if they really tried. Um, however, that would be classed as gross misconduct for any company I've ever worked at. And 
you know, you kind of expect your staff to not try to hack the systems you give them to do their job. So I would class that as a non-issue personally. Um, and secondly, like yes, SQL injection could be a thing, um, but this can be mitigated with good coding practice. Um, and it's also not a risk that's limited to VBA apps. So personally, like I also think that that's a non-problem. Um, and then quickly, just to discuss oh, okay, yeah, the differences between the two, um, the access tools, um, I mean, well, they're both much of a muchness, really, but the access versions, um, they're a lot more fancy. Uh, you've got more design options. Um, they look prettier. Um, and the Excel ones are much, much quicker to build, and they really shine when you are editing a finite number of rows. Um, finite number of rows, finite number of fields on an indeterminate number of rows. <laughs> what am I saying? Words. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think you can really do that in Access. Um, so Excel are particularly good for, for that point. Right, we are short of time already. So um, let's just do a very, very quick whistle stop tour of what we can actually do with these tools. Um, so this Excel one that I've just got here, um, we are just basically going to insert contacts into this table here. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to pick a contact type. You will see this um, later on in the access um, version. Um, and then we'll just type a note of, I don't know, send advertising to customer nice and easy. Um, and then I'm just going to put some customer IDs in here and I'm going to pick one number two. I know that customer ID two doesn't exist. Um, and that's just to show you that you can um, configure the outputs to return useful things. Um, so if I run that here, it will tell me that some errors were encountered um, and it will tell me that our customer ID two didn't exist, but that it's done um, number one and number seven. So if I click over here into my table, we can see there that it's done number one and number seven. Um, it's inserted those records. Um, and again, when I show you the CRM access version, um, you can see that record. Um, there in the front end um, and then what I've also got in here um, is you can make like reports in Excel as well so if I click a button here it's going to pull all the data there and I think I've got it set to um, where contact tag is email I believe um, and so here it's just going to spit out for us um, all the emails that we've sent now I recognize in this example this is not particularly useful um, but what I do like to do here is dependent on the purpose of the tool I would usually make this report like the things that need to be sent and then you could just like copy this list of customer IDs up you know paste it into there and off you pop it's a bit more useful there than showing you what you've sent um, but yeah, anyway, um, so the access version, um, sorry if I'm speaking really fast, I've got like a minute and a bit left and I'm like, oh my God. Um, this is, yeah, this is what it looks like. And what we can do here is we can click on to like add customer and we can add a new customer funnily enough. If I've got time at the end, I'll show you that. Otherwise, I'm just going to show you the search functionality. I can search by um, a customer ID or I can search by um, like letters of names and all sorts. It's got a dynamic SQL um, store procedure behind this. Um, but if I just click on to that, we can see here that it's loaded up all the, the details that we've got for this customer. Um, and when I click into the contact um, contacts tab, we can see here that it has, um, oh, I, I didn't put in number seven. Was it custom seven? I can't remember. Anyway, um, but they, the contacts that we add in the contact tool can appear there, or we can use the form here to add contact in. Um, we've got a notes functionality here where we can add notes and uh, testing notes. Put that in there, and we'll see that appeared out, which is really cool. Um, and then ignore the sirens. I am in Manchester. <laughs> kicking up apparently um, and then also in here where we can add like appointments um, we can this is like based on a car wash kind of system I can book an appointment here and I'll just type booked and that will appear there in our list and if we want to edit them um, we can just click the button it will bring up the form um, and yeah you can 
edit things there. So I hope it's interesting to see the kind of things that these tools can do. Um, if anybody has any questions or wants to talk about them or wants me to do a longer session at a conference on them, uh, then do tweet me. Um, and yeah, thank you very much for coming to my talk and thanks for having me on here, Ben. It's great. Thank you.